Yo, what up, my name is Derek, and today I'm going to show you guys how to lower your ping and increase your download and upload speeds by doing a couple optimizations that you can do to your network driver and also using this program called TCP Optimizer. Now, how we're going to do this is the first thing we're going to do before we get into this program, I'm actually going to go to our uh, network thing down here, right click it, go to Open Network and Internet Settings, and then top right, we're going to click on Change Adapter Options. Now, once you have this, you'll probably only see one here or two if you have Ethernet and Wi-Fi or you just may see Wi-Fi. I have virtual machines, so that's why you see two more right here. Just ignore these two. We're only going to use our Ethernet here and go to Properties. Now, before we go into here, we do want to make sure that we update our drivers. So once you go to Client, just click on, or once you get, open this Properties, go to Configure, go to Driver. Now, if you go to Update Driver, you might have to go and do Search Automatic. I already have mine updated, but sometimes you have to go to Browse and then let, let's pick, and then sometimes it shows up right here. You can even untick the ones that are compatible. Um, you also might want to find it online, whether you have like a real tech driver or a uh, Intel one or a, um, there's one more name for them, but whatever driver you have, just look it up online and find an update. What we're going to do from here is first thing, we're going to go to power management and just make sure no power management is off. Are on so make sure everything is unticked here so if you untick this these will be ticked so just make sure you untick this first and then this then we're going to do is go to driver and not driver advanced and then this is the options that we got here now i have a little guide on my right side to kind of figure out these because these are very complicated they're pretty just pretty much i already applied them and i'm just going to show you these so um a couple things right here uh, once we get to these um a couple things uh the gigabyte uh, master slave mode make sure this is just set on auto detect Okay, hey, don't don't touch this a couple other things that are important is the speed and duplex make sure you don't touch this either um, this can cause problems if you do set this to one of these these um, flow control make sure this is set to disabled and interrupt moderation is set to disabled as well um, a couple other things that are important to change as well or to keep um, disabled is large send offload make sure this is set to de disabled now you might have an option i don't have an option to do maximum number of rss queues uh, just make sure you put that to two queues or four whichever one you want to try you can try both of them just do two and then just do that one and then the next thing is receive side scaling make sure this is set to enabled the ipv4 checksum offload make sure that's disabled uh, packet priority and VLAN, make sure this is set to disabled. Okay. Uh, flow control, make sure this is set to disabled as well. Interrupt moderation rate, make sure this is set to off. The receive um, buffers, make sure this is set to 2048. And then transmit should be also on 2048. And uh, if you have a if you have any energy efficient Ethernet, make sure that's also disabled. If you use exit lag, it automatically disab disables that once you open exit lag up. So just keep that in mind. A couple other things that I want to talk about is if you go to properties, you'll get this list of connections here. Um, now, I have GGOS installed, so they automatically have removed some of these here. But some of these you don't need. Like, you don't probably need this file in printer sharing. Um, but that's pretty much it. You'll have a bunch of other ones here. You can probably untick or uninstall them. Um, the next thing is the TCP optimizer. Now, I don't know if you have to run it as administrator, but just run it as administrator just for safe measures. And we are going to uh, tweak this. Now, mine's already tweaked out. So, tweaked out. Wow. Uh, mine's already tweaked. So, you guys can just follow how I do this. So, what we're going to do is we're going to go to, make sure you're on the bottom right, and click on custom. And then for speed, uh, I, I have a, like 200 megabytes a second. So you can do whatever you want to do there. Whatever your speed is, just do that. For TCP window auto tuning, make sure it's set on normal. For the next couple, just follow what I usually do. Most of these should be set already as what they're like, default. So this one you have to change. And then a couple other ones over here you have to change. But just follow what I have on screen here. Um, check some offloading. Make sure this is set to enabled. Okay. And then make sure your MTU is set to 1500 right here as well. Okay. Now we're going to go to advanced settings because there's a lot more settings you can change through here. And we're going to change this number to 10, change this number to 8, do 4, 5, 6, and then 7 here for the host uh, resolution priority here. Uh, change this number to 2, 
disable this, put this number to 2000, put this to 300, and put this to zero, and then put this to one. Now, gaming tweak. When I installed Windows, and I've, I've done tweaks, I've ran tweaks from people that are, you know, well-known tweakers or, or pretty reason or not reasonable, but fairly um, respectful in, in the tweaking community as being right. And they always have these set at these numbers. They are. You've probably watched tweaks where they have it set as disabled. Make sure it's set to default and the system response responsiveness is set to 10. People will say, have it at zero. Just stick with the numbers that these pre-apply to you. You won't notice a difference if they have them change anyways. Okay. Make sure this is disabled, enabled, and then also disabled here. Make sure this is put on default and then size, keep that just nothing. And then the max user port, make sure this is 65534 and then TCP time to wait delay such as 30. Now what we're gonna do is we're gonna press on apply. It's gonna show up this window right here. You can back up if you want to. I'm not gonna back up. I'm just gonna keep it the way it is. Press okay. It's gonna give it a quick second. And then once it's done doing the changes, it's actually gonna ask you to restart your computer. So we're just gonna give this a quick second while it uh, adds the tweaks in the registry tweak or in the registry editor. And it'll say right here, would you like to reboot now? I'm not gonna reboot now. But I recommend re you guys rebooting as soon as you're done doing these tweaks and then trying in your game to see if your performance is better. Um, but that's pretty much it for this for today's video. I hope this guys I hope this helps you. Hope you're, hopefully your speeds are faster. Hope your ping's a little bit lower. Um, but uh, anyways, we like the video, like and subscribe, and uh, peace out.